Hi everyone, this is Molly McCord and welcome to a new video where I'm talking to you today about the energies of the Capricorn Midheaven. Now the Capricorn Midheaven is the point of recognition in a chart. It's where you are here to be seen, it's your status, your expert abilities, your mastery. The Capricorn Midheaven is a strong placement for career, professional life, and the direction of your life, what you want to achieve, what you want to be known for in a public way. So the Midheaven is always the point between the ninth house and the 10th house. It is where all of your energy has gone through these first nine houses and it has learned about itself. You have learned who you are, your inner world, your skills, your abilities, what you're here to contribute. You've learned about relationships and this is where your energy peaks. This is the point of achievement in a chart where you're ready to take that knowledge into the professional world, to take it forward to benefit others. And that's really what the career is about. It is how we contribute to the world, how we get paid, uh, and how we're known by others. So the Capricorn Midheaven point is quite serious. This is a determined individual. It is literally the one who will do whatever it takes to reach the top of that mountain. It is determined determined and disciplined, it is willing to put in the effort. So when you have a Capricorn midheaven, you look for Saturn in your natal chart because that is tells us who what this energy is more. It, it gets into the specifics of where you're meant to work, what you're meant to put your time and energy into. So Saturn is the ruler of the Capricorn midheaven and in this chart we look down here and we see that here is Saturn. He is at 11 degrees of Virgo in the fifth house. Now the Saturn energy is where we need to put in time, effort, and dedication. There are no shortcuts with Saturn. There is no way to do it easy. You just have to keep showing up. So Saturn in Virgo is a diligent worker. Virgo is dedicated to improvement, to solving problems, efficiency, perfection. How can I make it better? How can we find new ways through this? It is a wonderful problem solver that will spend time, will spend time looking for those solutions. Now in the fifth house, this is about creativity. This is about, well, how can we do something that's truly useful? Uh, there can be a need for stability here, a need for what is reliable in order to solve the problems. Uh, the fifth house also includes for example, children, taking a risk, being creative, you know, how you express that in a way. So creative problem solving would be a general theme of this Saturn and the ability to do so every day because Saturn is reliable. Uh, Saturn is the energy of I'm going to show up, put in the time, be dedicated, and then there will be results. Now in this chart, what's really lovely is how Saturn, it's the ruler of the midheaven and it trines the midheaven. So there is great support here for you work hard with this Saturn, you put in the time, you put in the Monday through Friday hours and you do achieve, you do get somewhere, especially with the Saturn return. The Saturn return is very significant when you have a strong Capricorn midheaven because Saturn is your ruling planet. And so whatever Saturn is doing in your chart is significant to your career. So this would mean that at this person's Saturn return, they would probably be elevated in their career, they'd be recognized, they would get promotions. Anytime they have a favorable Saturn transit, they would experience it through their midheaven and through all the time, dedication, and effort they've put into really honing a skill, a craft, a specialty. Because Virgo is a specialist. Virgo is the one who says, I'm going to get into the minutia and the details and solve it. So if you have a Capricorn Midheaven, you're going to look in your chart at wherever the Saturn energy is, and that's going to tell you more of the story around what you're here to achieve in your career or in your profession. Saturn is 
the energy that takes the most time because it deals with the physical world. So what I have found through many of my clients is that wherever Capricorn is in your chart is where you you work harder and longer, but you get the results or you, you see the achievement, you get recognized. So this is not a quick rise often. Um, it does depend on the chart, but it means you have to put in the time and dedication of Saturn. You have to stick with it. But then when you have favorable Saturn transits, you get those results. You get the benefits of all that hard work. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned some useful things. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back here with another Midheaven reading to share with you.